Hi, we're here today with Xavier Hervé, the president of Mectronics World, and uh, we're at a special event. Uh, Mectronics is unveiling of its new research and development center. Xavier, uh, to do this in rather challenging times, uh, what does that say about Mectronics' dedication to research and development and where it fits in the organization? Um, that's many questions in one, Joe. Um, thank you. The, uh, the first I think the first and foremost is that um, the Mectronics team is uh, born out of a research engineering facility at Concordia University 20, over 20 years ago, I'm not getting any younger. And, um, and within that, we've always maintained that core competence. It's in our heart, it's in our brains, it's in our, it's in our bodies, this is who we are. And, uh, and so we're really proud because it's, it's 20 years of developing you know, what started as five people um, engineering team in, into uh, into over 100 engineers now, which uh, which are you know beating a lot of the world records when it comes to product development. So right. that's answer number one. Right. Uh, you want yeah. answer number two, Joe? Sure. And uh, on, on answer number two, I think why it's an important symbol for us is um, is that it's been a road with a lot of challenges, and we wouldn't have been able to uh, to meet all those challenges if it wasn't from the help of many. And the help of many included government organizations. Um, research organizations, uh, some key suppliers that participated with us, and a lot of really dedicated employees. So um, this this unveiling symbolizes one the uh, the passions of, at the heart of the team, and two the uh, the dedication of, of many 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 throughout the world, including our government leaders, with whom this wouldn't be possible in this province or in this country. I know that the government uh, provided you with some. Uh uh, certainly uh, did some uh, special lending in the R&D space. Um, how important is that, that at this type of time when other financial institutions are not exactly forthcoming with uh, loans? Well, the, the government help is fundamental at the time where these financial institutions are, are let's say, I, I like your expression, not as forthcoming, I would say. They're still forthcoming, but their criteria, their availability is, is, is significantly different and a lot more, what we could say, so stochastic. Um, in, in that context, um, the, the, the programs allow us to not compromise on R&D because, you know, the first and foremost, I have to meet is payroll and operations and delivery to my customers. And, uh, and, and as passionate as I may be about R&D, as our team may be, uh, we have to be able to afford it. And these government programs allow the temper for, for, uh, for not so good times and, and maintain the R&D so when the times are good, we're out there competing and at the edge of the game and, and leading once again. Right now between um, Medtronic's new research and development center and the expansion at your facility, what do you anticipate that Medtronic will be able to produce more in terms of uh, you know, qualitative and quantitative uh, uh, results for its customers? Oh, well, in terms of production, the, the first is, is that we have a significant, significant increase in production output of, of products, of simulators, simply said. Um, we can produce 25 full-flight sims a year today. Uh, that's the first axis. The second axis, which is also key, is, is the number of aircraft programs that we can address. Historically, we've been fairly stable at, uh, at handling two new programs a year, and um, it wouldn't be surprising if we moved up the capacity to three. Um, and, and also, I would add is, is that we have customers that are linked to commercial and aviation simulation, but we have a whole a breadth of customers like L3Com, like Alstom, for whom we engineer. And, um, and we're passionate about that too, so, so we continue, for example, we're very proud of having selected by L3Com on the Canadian Frigate Update program. So we'll be delivering new control systems. Great. I understand also right now that um, one of the uh, hotter products that you have is the transition to jet technology uh, that Medtronics is working with right now. Maybe you could talk about that and the demand for that in this market. Oh, um, I think we're speaking about the canary in the mine here, um, Joe. I think you've, uh, you've expressed that before. Yes, the transition to jet tool market and its explosion in the last 12 months is an indicator that the fundamentals in the, uh, in the training industry and commercial aviation as a whole are healthy and steady. Um, we can all you know, stand at the helm uh, fairly reassured by that. The, the reason why we should be reassured is that normally, historically, the first part of the industry that would um, withdraw or, or be in halt when it came to investments was the uh, transition training teams, the people that transition our, 
our ab initio pilots, our, our young and experienced pilots into, into commercial, um, commercially type rated pilots. So this industry typically was the first one to, uh, to stop all actions and all activities in a, in a recession in a bad time. And it turns out that we've hit record sales and there's been a record demand in the industry for the last six or nine months during this recession for these jet transition tools. This tells us that the fundamentals of the industry are there and many, not just me, uh, many in the industry, all of our customers believe this and it's time to act and they are acting. They're putting their money where their mouth is. Very good. Xavier Hervé, thank you very much. Merci.